Okay, so we had a client approach us who'd been working with another firm of local accountants. And first of all, uh, we could identify and really relate to that they were looking for much more help, advice and guidance that they weren't currently getting. They also had a reason, reasonable question over the advice they were getting, which was to hold back on the growth of their business because they were told that exceeding the VAT threshold and going down that route was really going to hold them back. And this is a company who were specialising in doing kitchen fitting, but when people wanted to move to open plan living. Um, so very much for individuals and therefore VAT, yes, potentially an issue. The, the first process in that actually for us was that we realised this wasn't a present somebody a proposal and sign them up. This needed to be building confidence and uh, building their confidence again within the profession and understanding that actually the advice isn't always, I suppose, as negatively focused. Um, they felt they were turning away a great deal of work in order to remain under the BAT threshold. So over a period of around about three to four months, we we did a lot of mindset type stuff around how do you present proposals to customers that don't highlight the VAT um, because they're finding most people if they well, they've been in a business in the past and they've had to do that we're sort of going oh, we don't want to pay the VAT how do we get around that so it was a lot of mindset type stuff um, to do with presenting themselves in the best possible light focusing on what they the outcomes that they could deliver uh, the feelings that that would create for the customer that they were looking at uh, by focusing around those sort of areas and then helping them in terms of the, the systemization of their whole um, finance function itself. We've then worked with them over a period of 12 months where they, by the end of that 12 month period, they were then um, with the extra pipeline stuff that was for the rest of that financial year. So they got nine months worth of data and pipeline for the rest of the three months. They were pushing close to 750,000 turnover. Um, and that, that's the following year beyond what we've done. So it moved from 75, 80,000 to almost 10 times that. Um, within a 12 month period, which I think was a great example of one, how much work they were really refusing and not doing. Um, and also two, that how much their mindset was really holding them back. Uh, they were thinking small and they were acting, acting small. Whereas just changing that mindset to be thinking that they're bigger and they're better than this and they can do far, far more meant that they had created so many more opportunities. And for them, the it's been a life-changing business it's it's been a business that's truly gone from just managing to pay bills to now having so much money that they don't quite know where to, where to turn what to do with it where to invest it uh, which obviously is a great problem to have um but it's also created an element of nervousness and it's a more a new fashion of coaching around that to go okay how do we make this money work best for you in your business